finally decides to darken our doorstep again. You know why I'm here. Oh? And what's that? You come to your senses? Realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. Let's hear it. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. Okay, this was a mistake. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. Bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. I got just as much right to those maps as anyone else in this family. That's exactly right, Sam. We all share Solomon's legacy. Only some of us are around to live up to it, and some of us aren't. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. Hmm. Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. Any day you make it through is a victory in my book. Give me a sec. <sighs> All right, let's talk options. No, I don't. It's just... It's been a while, but this is how it goes, every time. You're flying in the face of my 30-plus years' experience with the man, but all right. I hope you like arguing. What do you want, Constellation? Well, that's not your decision, is it? It's co property by birthright. It stays here. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Can't believe I'm saying this. But if I'll get you out of my hair, then fine. You can have the maps. They're in the other room here. Key. Let's see if we can find the empty nest. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. Well, you ain't wrong. But let's take a look at what we're up against. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the empty nest is a cave right in the middle of Shagang territory. Same outlaws who held up Galbank. Well, just remember, it's about the artifact, not them. Hurting bad guys puts a smile on your face, that's a bonus. Let's get to that cave.
This is for you. Well, I see your parents didn't skimp on your P's and Q's. I spotted it on our last planetary foray. All part of the service. Hey, I'm gonna pick things up one way or the other. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Who knows? Check in with me now and again and I might find more. Company, I think. moves. <laughs> Better we get it than someone else.
smugglers about. Sometimes they're friendly, but close to it. This is tectonically sound. stop for a beat when you passed out. I'm glad you're still with us. If you need me to haul something, I'm willing. Later. I think that's far enough. Hate to put a hole in the head of Aquila's own prodigal son. At least not before we've had a word. You must be Shaw. What I am is disappointed. Samco in the flesh and he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Now you got past my crew, who I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Grabbed something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the Ashta away. So, 
I'm down one hideout. Now, let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Your lives, your credits. One or the other, really. Oh, really? Let's hear it. <laughs> Tough talk. But you've backed it up so far, I'll admit. I'm listening. For now. <laughs> Fine. Get the hell out of here before I change my mind. I see you again. You're dead. Boss, it's the Ashta. You. This is your fault. Yes, I owe you something for dealing with the Ashta. Take it and get lost. Get out of here before I change my mind. What are you still doing here? Out! Don't let anything go to waste. We're in one piece. I'll call that a win. Let's get back to the lodge. Hey, we're back. The newest member of our little family really pulled through for us. Is anyone hurt? You didn't let Cora handle the artifact, did you? We don't know what effects it might have on someone her age. Relax. We're fine. Go ahead. Time for that artifact to meet its siblings. Just, what are we building here? I haven't picked up any kind of frequency or signal coming from it. 
That doesn't mean much. This thing could be emitting something we can't even detect. As far as we know, we could be building a gigantic bomb that will blow up as soon as we finish it. Or maybe it's some kind of interstellar children's toy. Why would either of those things give the Discoverer visions and music? It's a message. I'm sure of it. We just have to hope that finding more of the pieces will give us some clue. I hear that. Moving forward sometimes means fumbling around in the dark. I think Cora and I can use some downtime, but you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Cora's on your ship. Hmm. <laughs> Why not? What do you think, Cora? It's really nice to have more company. New stories, new data. What? Data? <laughs> Alright. We're in. Let's see what the galaxy throws at us next. Business has appealed. Feel free to help yourself at the bar. I don't drink, but I feel like if I did, now would hey, be a good time to see you. Talking about me is my favorite subject. A kid. There's no next. I want to be exploring until they pry the boots off my cold, dead feet. I mean, Cora will go to university. And the price tag there is scarier than any jam we've been in. But for me, my truest love is the next star, the next horizon. <laughs> Cora has the complete top of its class learning videos and lessons. And I have to occasionally do some of the old homeschooling. Fortunately, mainly it's the videos. Around when she was seven, she could already see the cracks in my knowledge. Come to think of it, I think she's doing an introductory college course in astrophysics. Not being graded, like, for fun. She's so weird. Next time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what is it? Always. Point the way and we'll be off. Switching me out for the big boss, huh? I see how it is. Well, of course. How else do you expect anything to be done correctly? I'm up for a little adventure. I'm always up for adventure, friend. Okay, Sam. I'm trusting you to stay out of trouble. <laughs> Think you can handle that? Mighty Hero Awakens. Let's go.
the smell of getting back into the harness. One lifetime. I don't need the sequel showing up on my doorstep. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert. Troy. Some of the new Dusties. They didn't make it. Well, how could you have? You weren't here. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. Barrett's fine. You might think he's just a wise ass, but he's got skills. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's the last I saw of either of them. They could have grab-jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them... <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up.
You're in. actually get that computer working again? What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand... Okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? What? Really? Uh, not really cut out for whatever it is people like you and Barrett do, but it might not be a bad time to think about a career change after all this. If you have room in your crew for an outpost supervisor, maybe we can talk. Be a while before Argos comes to pick me up. I'll be here if you need me. And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. If, uh, you find yourself in need of a capable traveling companion, we should talk. My contract's up with Argos, and I could use a change of scenery. Works for me. I'm not fussy about assignments. I'll go where I need it. Right. I'll get to work. Let's catch up later. Lord Green, ready for what comes next. Ahoy, Captain! Captain, I have been... idling. And awaiting my next order for some time now. Captain, I believe your ship will perform more efficiently 
if you bring me on board. I will go wherever I am needed. Good luck finding Barrett. Keep an eye out for Hello while you're at it. So how much of a thrill has it been traveling with the one and only last descendant of the great Solomon Co? Is it everything you imagined? <laughs> You're something else. I gotta say, it's a relief being with you. So many people hear Co and they expect me to pull some miracle out of a hat. Time has a way of just building on itself. Solomon was a good man. Great one, even. But if he ever heard all the bullshit being talked about him these days, he'd flat out deck him. It appears I left him in my other jacket. Sorry. But really, for some people, it ain't a joke. They have serious expectations. Yeah, there, uh, there was a time, well before Koro, where it really weighed on me. I felt like every little thing I did or didn't do was a reflection on our great legacy. It's enough to drive you crazy. Now I just hope I can help Cora to... <laughs> I don't know. Your kind words are appreciated. For my father, Cora, and me, everything starts and ends with Solomon Co. He looked out at the stars and he dreamed a way to get there. Imagine being the first person to jump into a new system, set foot on a new world. Well, I get it. That's powerful stuff. And now... <laughs> I'm just getting sappy. You're a bad influence, you know that? <laughs> That's what I like about you. Well, I hope the comic book they make about our adventures is better than that rag on Solomon. The stuff they publish is just downright embarrassing. Do you have a new set of orders for me today? Sometimes I just want to turn off the grab drive so we can float around. Books. I guess it is. Do you have more books, or can you buy me more books? With real pages, a spine, the whole package. My book allowance is all gone and Dad won't get me more. So, books? Eh, uh, don't let her con you out of more credits. Her book allowance damn near bankrupted me. Dad, this is between us. Not the same. I like smelling the pages, the feel of it. Computer screens are just blech. You'd save me, my friend here, all of us, a lot of grief, financial and emotional, if you just read them on a computer, Gumdrop. Dad? Fine. You know, reading computers for hours gives me a headache. Now, the important question. Pizza. Favorite topping? And please don't say cheese. Dad loves boring old cheese. Did you hear that, Dad? Meat! We have you outnumbered! We could always get one of each. No, you lose. <laughs> I have decided that I will stay. You have the Cora stamp of approval. I, uh, seem to have left my stamp back on Dad's ship. But imagine it there, on your arm. Cora approves! Can't believe... Something I can help you with, Dusty? Best of luck out there. Captain, may I be of assistance on your ship? Captain, I am fully updated and ready to assist with tasks. Farewell.
Thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? Considering the spaceship wreckage, you mean? Yeah. Well, you missed the worst of it. Pretty sure we ripped through all the emergency meds that were salvageable. Hey, uh, you know, when I uh, pulled you to the med bench back on Vectera, I honestly thought. Shit, I think I just saved someone's life. Oddly proud moment, you know? So, uh, I guess I'm saying, glad I paid it forward. Man, I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother, I'll get us out of this. Trust me. Oh. I'm getting to that. He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, this kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these pearly whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. And dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. <sighs> I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was. 
smiling like it was just another day on the job. You miss the fun part, Heller. I mean, I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then he did the little finger gun thing. Oh, yeah. Probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> Did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? So, I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, It's okay. I got this. He mumbled something to him, and then they were all gone. I was drifting in and out, but... Yeah, I think so. Got a signal from the ship before they grab-jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. <laughs> Haven't really been in a good... <clears throat> space to have a listen. <laughs> Here you go. Hey, uh... uh I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. Yeah, just, uh, don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while. Ugh, give me a minute. I think the worst of it is... Yeah, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Let me know when you want to head out. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. You bet. I've worked on enough remote outposts that I know a thing or two about optimizing them for material production. And if you're in the market for a mining buddy, I'm your guy. Phew, oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. For a second there, I thought you were gonna leave me behind. What's on the agenda today? You got it. Catch you on the flip side, boss. Thanks for letting me tag along. You've given the fleet a lot of trouble, Barrett. Hey, since when is surviving being attacked causing trouble? Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot, could you move your arm a little bit to the left? I can't make out the console. Don't move! He's trying to figure out our destination, probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, yeah, thought I was making that pretty obvious. Okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Time up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts.
again. I was uncertain you would return. Get it than someone else.
stuff. Leave the rest. No certainty to the universe at all. Once you really start getting out there, the laws of physics kind of turn into suggestions. You're pulling my leg again, right? No exaggerations this time. Hmm. Thing. Unicorn. Not kidding. What? The mythical mare with the magic horn thing? Come on. Was King Arthur riding on it too? Okay, it was more of an extreme file in the vague shape of a horse. But my point still stands, you need an open mind out there. You go into the far reaches of space too tightly wound, your brain is just gonna pop like a soda can. Holy shit. You actually found me. Now why did I get a feeling this is what we'd find? <laughs> it's good to see you, Barrett. Well, this is turning into a regular constellation party, isn't it? I should have brought drinks. Matsuo the Grim here and I actually have a lot in common. Both escape artists. Being captured by Sistep myself plenty of times. See, that's what I'm talking about. Relativity. We're all just creatures of the universe trying to get away from what's after us. You know, it's actually been kind of nice. Matsura the Grim here is a great host. No sense letting people's last moments be unpleasant. See, that's what I like about you, Matsura. Real renaissance man. I have enjoyed our time together, Barrett. But I can't just let you go with nothing to show for it. Is Constellation willing to pay ransom in exchange for this man's freedom? You want me to end all this with nothing to show for it? Nobody wants that. He has been more entertaining than most hostages. Barrett has some good friends, it seems. Very well. You're all free to go. It's been a real pleasure, Matsura. Really? Good luck out there with all the, you know, hurting people and taking their money. I hope Cora doesn't get too much underfoot.
back. Yeah, Welcome back. What is it? I would be more useful to you aboard your ship than idling here awaiting I've been tasks. standing around here an awfully long time, you know. I still can't believe I got my own room here. I keep thinking they'll one day say it was all an elaborate practical joke. Held up on Vectera. Barrett, we were worried sick. Well, some of us were. I see what you did there, Walter. And I know you've been secretly crying into your piles of money just waiting for my return. Actually, Walter has been complaining about you more than usual, which is always a sign when he's worried. Don't start, country. Wait, is that? <laughs> and to think the first artifact was taking up dust on the library shelf. Now look at them all. You feel it a bit, can't you? Ever since I found the second one, had the visions. Being around them is just comforting. So hey, I I'm still not a hundred percent, plus I feel guilty dragging you into all of this. Why don't I stick around, help you get adjusted to the weird corners of the universe? Marvelous.
As much as I love uncovering new questions, I wouldn't mind a few answers now and then. Ever since I got here, this has felt like home. These people are family. I hope it feels that way for you too. Stay safe, okay? Your safe return to the Lodge will please the other members of Constellation.